So you're very welcome. Ashley Mooney here, spiritual business mentor and coach for light workers who want to create a business that's sustainable, fulfilling, and of course, profitable. Wouldn't it be nice if we finally created profitable businesses? You had consistent clients, loads of money coming in, and you were getting really well paid for the amazing healing gifts and the work that you're doing in the world. So this is part of a series I'm inviting um, beautiful people in my community, clients that I've worked with over the last uh, year, two years, three years. And just, I'm hoping that this will inspire you watching this today to, especially if you're struggling, if you're, you're struggling trying to get consistent clients, you might be heading for board now, you might be feeling exhausted, um, you might be feeling lonely, and nobody understands your gifts or, or what you're trying to do in the world. And you might be on the end of some people saying, would you not just go and get a real job? Um, which we know as light workers, it just our healing is part of our nature. It's, it's one of our reasons for being. It's the most natural part of us. So to take that away from us can be um, soul destroying in some cases. So I'm really hoping that this inspires you today. I have with me a very special, beautiful, um, Deborah Kilby. I was going to say one of my favorite clients, but I just said that. And the other one, and I said, "Oh, my clients are my favorite." But I just, I love Deborah's work. It's very, very, very special work, and it's a very tender subject. And she's helping and empowering a huge amount of women um, around the planet, and actually right into the the, the energy of the planet. It's um, something that I'm becoming passionate about myself in the last uh, year or two years around this divine feminine energy rising but I just love Deborah's work but I'm going to just hand you over to Deborah just to say Deborah you can just tell us a little bit about you and what, what you're doing at the moment and um, you know so people can can get a sense of your energy and and your work. Okay so at the moment I, there's, there seems to be kind of three um, strands I guess going on but they're all part of, of a whole as we know um, so uh, I work um, a lot with women who on their journeys to motherhood so those who have experienced baby loss sadly um, or birth trauma and you know feeling the effects of that um, and also those on their you know preconception struggles so you know perhaps there's, there's you know they've been on their journey to mother then it's not you know the baby's not physically arriving yet but we know that there's you know no actual physical reason so we're bringing in this sort of sacred conception um so i'm helping to support women on their journeys to motherhood um helping them to feel um understand themselves at a deeper level because often this journey is a way of of get, getting us onto this spiritual path if you like getting us to really take a look at ourselves so that's what i'm finding the most is that a lot of these journeys are about it's hard to say a gift because it certainly doesn't feel like a gift i personally know this but at some level at some point you start to realize okay now i'm starting to know about myself i'm starting to understand it's put it's put me stop me in my tracks in order for me to really look at myself so we're getting to reconnect you know reconnect um with yourself in order to understand your experience uh, and find peace you know just find peace with you know whatever's going on um but then also ex you know excitement and looking forward to the future you know as this new you know knowing yourself at, at a deeper level but also you know there's some um, there's i think i've got um i say one baby on the way there's a uh, in, in my group there's you know one who's due uh, in the next few days um but there's also um quite a few more that are on their way so they're physically here and this is absolute joy to you know to, to to see these women who've often been waiting five years and you know their 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 babies are coming physically into this space mm -hmm. but also for those women who have lost their babies not lost mm -hmm. but you know experienced that baby loss mm -hmm. at whatever stage um you're really helping them to clear the trauma because it's very traumatic and you know i often see the energy of 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 someone um who's experienced that is you know very much in shock and trauma so really helping them to move through that energy mm -hmm. and if uh, because our babies have choices if the babies choose to to come in and connect and let them know their why why you know why you know find out the why of these experiences then we can guide the mum and the baby together to help find those answers 
Mm. So it's absolutely beautiful, precious work. Um, and I feel very honored to do that. Um, so as I said, the journey to motherhood is part of a way of, of how we find ourselves and get onto the spiritual path and understand ourselves more deeply. There's also, you know, lots of other ways generally you know kick up the bums that we get to push us onto that so i also do soul plan reading which forms part of the baby packages as well but soul plan reading which gets you to you know look at um you know what did you come in for what you know why are you here who are you on a soul level and what are you here for so what's your purpose why are you here um which is an amazing journey that we go on to you know down to past lives and we see some amazing uh, we go on some amazing explorations um to really uh, get someone to step onto their onto their path and it's not for the faint-hearted because you know most of my clients end up either um, being made redundant or resigning and going on to something so much more aligned uh, with more money um, or traveling and just giving up this big corporate job and going traveling and teaching English you know I've had lots of experience so people just finding themselves which is beautiful because they're freeing themselves up from you know the nine to five um if that's not what was if that was what was making them feel anxious so clearing all of that anxiety about not doing what you're meant to be doing so really aligning you onto your full soul path and then the third thing i do is the retreats as ashley mentioned this divine feminine so it was through ashley and i realized because i know i didn't even know this was even possible or thought of it connecting in with the earth connecting in with the consciousness of the earth which is the divine feminine energy and asking the earth what does it need what's you know what's going what is you know what's going on with the earth what, what are the souls in the earth do they need to be released and um, i think ashley was there when all these baby souls came out from ireland wasn't it um they've been you know under layers of kind of lots of hurt and pain just releasing them out of the soil out of the earth and releasing them but also lifts the earth up as well mm. so the retreats are very much about divine feminine so i do retreats in ireland um, at the moment um, where there's labyrinths so you're kind of going into the center of yourself and all the way back and then uh, it's very much mary magdalene energy is there so the divine feminine she is very present as is um, the divine mother and what i've come to realize is that you know it's about our, our journeys as divine mothers healing the wounds of the mother is basically i think my overall theme um and so healing that yeah <laughs> you know because i what um if we heal our wounds from our mothers then we are freeing up our children because we always say as mums oh i sacrifice for myself for my children what i've been told and the very clear message is it's not mums who sacrifice themselves for children it's children who are sacrificing themselves their mums uh which is a really hard lesson but if we if they're not carrying our patterns if they feel safe to be free because we're not you know getting putting our stuff onto them they are free and you know these kids uh are here to fly and to bring about the new earth so the more we heal ourselves the more our children heal and of course the divine feminine energy is the earth itself so the more we heal the earth the more we heal ourselves the more we heal ourselves the more we heal the earth it's just this we're a whole it's all whole i finally got the message we're all <laughs> and this divine feminine energy is uh it's absolutely incredible so uh yeah so i help i co-run these retreats um where we align so we heal the wounds of the mother our own personal wounds um we balance the male and the female uh, energies and you know we come out as the divine child as the divine children we are with a perfect balance of the two so beautiful retreats very special everyone gets whatever they need out of it. it's kind of hard to describe so those are my three big things and i feel very excited and very lucky <laughs> we um have found them so my darling i love your work take me back <laughs> to a year or two years ago when things were very different when you may have been struggling i i think when we met you you had clients you, you had a few clients mm. and i mean you had even a package um it was around uh imprinting birthing imprinting yeah the matrix birth yeah, yeah. and the, the soul plan so it's like a tiny version of what i what i do now but i hadn't stepped into it fully so, so you had a business you you know mm -hmm. parts of it you had some clients but mm. where were you struggling where was it not working where you know what was not working what was not working is it's easy to look back and say that now but i just wasn't being authentic i just wasn't 
I was terrified, to be honest, of one coming out as being spiritual um, and, you know, having these experiences and, uh, you know, and and talking about energies and God and love and, you know, all of that, all of that stuff. Um, so I was really reining myself in because there was a fear. There was a fear of stepping out. There was a fear of, of saying, you know, I'm, I'm, you know, I'm spiritual. I do this stuff. I believe in this stuff. This, you know, these experiences are real. I can, you know, talk to, you know, I can communicate with baby spirits or, you know, people who have passed over. I can communicate with the earth. Imagine that, you know, as if I'd ever say, oh, I talk to the trees, like literally talk to the trees. So, you know, I just was not saying any of this stuff because it's really scary. Mm. Um, so that was my biggest thing. I just wasn't being authentic. There was a real fear around that. Um, and also I, I didn't know what was possible either mm. because I, and I've, I've also realized that we're only shown what we're meant to be shown because if someone had told me two years ago, what I'd be doing now, I'd be like, what you, you absolutely no way. That's, you know, that's what you're talking about. But it unfolds when we're ready, you know, as our vibration lifts, it all unfolds as we're ready. But I was, I was just really scared, basically. And also wasn't very clear on what I was here for. Um, even though I'd done my own soul plan, you know, you just avoid it. You just, you, you where you're meant to go, I was avoiding it. And I never forget when Ashling, I would, I'd written my program out and, you know, all of this, and I'd written an article and it was all happening. And Ashling said, I can't remember the exact words, but it was like, and I, it, was it waiting for you to say, and I, blah, 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 do, not blah, 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 but I do this with the, and I just went into total meltdown. It's like, you know, when someone hits the spot and it was so gentle and so true that I just, you know, I just went into a bit of a meltdown because I thought, I can't, st how can I step into that? And I'd known it all along, but it takes, you know, someone to gently remind you or encourage you to say, it's okay. We, you know, I see that in you and it's, and that's wonderful. So allow yourself to see it and step into it. I really remember that little um, uh, message that you sent me and I was like, oh gosh, <laughs> how am I going to step into that? Because it just, it was that not being clear on what I was, what I was here or not accepting what I was here for, mm -hmm. I think. Yeah. Um, so what happened? What was the transformation? You stepped into to working with me, you were in the Abundant Heart, then you, you stepped into Mastery at Metatron, one-to-one -one coaching and the group mm. program and into amazing, two amazing communities. Mm. And just what happened? Take us a little bit through the transformation. Oh, God, oh my gosh. Um, do you know, this is where I really should journal because it's, because where it's hard to remember where where you were but I remember being like a little scared rabbit um really unsh really unsure really nervous really shy really terrified of being visible the thought of doing a live stream on Facebook all of that stuff um where do I go with my programs how do you set up a uh you know, an email system, you know, from the very practical to the very kind of emotional visibility fear type thing. So this is, this is everything that's happened in the last two years. I feel like I've got more systems in place. There's still much room for improvement on the technology side, that's for sure. But there's a basis there. I have an email system. I have those practical things in place. I'm doing Facebook lives. Um, <laughs> Uh, because I'm clearer on my message now. I didn't have a message. I didn't have the practical stuff to back up the message and share the message. And I didn't have the confidence to share the message either. So I think, I hope that makes sense. Yeah, so I now yeah. have the practical, which I didn't have. Uh, I have the confidence, much more confidence than I ever imagined I could have. Um, and, like, and like knowing what I'm doing, sharing the message. So... I'm, I'm out there now doing all this stuff, which is incredible, which, which I was, I was getting clients two years ago, but I don't, don't quite know how, um, you know, they were, I don't know. I've always had clients. I've been really lucky, but now the, my, my, my clients are coming. My, you know, my, the people I'm here to really help are finding me and the transformations are really massive and I'm really hugely privileged. Um, so. 
I don't know if I'm waffling now, but from the practical yeah. steps, because how you step out of a, you know, a full-time job, um, you know, writing is what I was doing, media, being a, I was a media officer, traveling the world, writing and doing all this stuff to running a business. I mean, how do you even go? It's just that nice, oh, I'm going to help everybody. Well, okay, that's fine. But until they see you, until you know what, you, you know, how, what you're helping them with, all of that stuff. So really practical, hugely essential practical technical advice um as well as all of that emotional support which is priceless yeah yeah tell us a little bit about the incredible communities that you're part of the abundant heart and the mastery metatron group oh my goodness so this is where this yeah so this is um i mean ashley has many gifts you have many gifts many 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 but what really stands out for me is that even when Ashling is on holiday for a week or so, actually allowing herself to take a break, of course, um, the community still runs. The support, the connection, um, it, you know, everyone, everyone gets it. Everyone gets it and everyone's there. Everyone has your back. Um, so that again, that could be practical support or it could be emotional support, but you know, you've got a, a group of amazing people that you could go to and say, this is happening. Has anyone got any advice and you get support or you go in with a celebration and this has happened and everyone is so happy for you. There's no ego at all in these groups. It is absolutely about love, support, um, encouragement. Um, and you know, you meet people who, you know, I've, I've, I've worked, you know, I've had sessions with people in these groups as well that have really helped me and vice versa. So it's like, it, you know, you see Ashley as the, as the core and then all of this healing just spreads out and out and out and out and out. Um, and it's just, you know, a continuous kind of wave of, mm. of love and support um, and people getting out, you know, people getting out with their businesses, getting out with them, coming out of themselves. Uh, you know spreading spreading that healing it's um it's hard to describe but it's, it's 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 amazing it's it's like you know we always know as healers that when you when you heal one bit there's a there's there's also another something else that happens there's also a consequence of it so it spreads out but you actually physically see this happening this is happening in real life like you know how it spreads out and how the support spreads out um i i honestly would not be doing what I'm doing now if I hadn't have joined Ashley's groups. Mm. And that's not to be all like, you know, it's just the absolute truth. And I am so grateful for coming across Ashling and joining her groups because the, apart from Ashley, the people I've met, the friends I have now, um, like it's, uh, it's huge. Like, yeah, absolutely. It's so safe. It's, it's safe, 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 mm. safe and fun, mm. you know, because we're, 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 you know we've got to play with this stuff as well so yeah beautiful so what would, you, that... say, what would you say um deborah to anyone that was sitting on the fence that was thinking uh okay i'm really thinking about getting a coach getting into a program mm. it could be the abundant heart master metatron the wealthy light workers or with some other support uh, group or coach or program but sitting on the fence and, uh, and about to jump in what would mm. you say in terms of like the things that stop people or that people sit on that fence thinking about is usually can I afford it is it worth mm. it for me will I make the money back with how will I be able to pay for this so it's usually money mm. or it's time will I be able to physically manage to do this to do the work that's involved mm. and um uh yeah, they're 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 the main two. Mm. Find I have people on that fence, but just for somebody that's on the fence, that they, they know because you you don't really sit on the fence unless you're, you know, you're, ready to jump. You're thinking, you know. Uh, so, what would you say to somebody on the fence? God, uh, so sitting on the fence, like what 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 is it that you're, you know, why are you sitting on the fence? So yes, we have. Can I afford it? And have I got enough time? But just check in on yourself. Am I sitting on the fence because I'm scared of me, scared of how powerful I am, scared of being a success, not being a failure, but being a success, scared of actually 
having to do this you know uh, it could be the time it could be the money all of those things are kind of world leading you know of course important stuff but if you're on the fence is it just about taking a deep breath and saying okay well why not I can just give it a go mm. um I, I you know if I just give it a go if I don't like it I can just stop or change my mind you know but just taking that deep breath because uh, the money however it works it comes back it does and it you know and and actually I've always done the payment plans um which have been massively helpful because the you know it's not like you need to start with this massive chunk of money um great if you if you can uh but I've always found that there's always money every month to to pay that so somehow or other it works and it's trusting that and just knowing that it's actually true that when you invest in yourself it comes back um so that's true that's amazing i, I finally get that <laughs> and, and it really is true and, and it's true no matter what the investment is when i invested in my first 10 grand program i had no way of figuring it i didn't i, I wasn't making any money so i didn't know how i was going to pay that back like really i was mm leap of terrifying fear and faith <laughs> just go just yeah. and i still take those leaps the leaps are bigger the money is bigger you know i think it's um and i've said this in other videos that i think it's one of the main um things that has contributed to my success in business is being in a program and having a coach i think it, it like it's yeah it's not um something that you might do it's as far as i'm concerned it's an essential investment or part of my business it's just part of my business plan it doesn't um you know so. deborah thank you so much thank you so much yeah no i would say it's essential because you've got your guidance there as you said practical guidance emotional support and then all of this amazing uh, group of people around you um you know sharing ideas lifting you up um, you lifting other people up and using your own imagination to help others. It, it is, um, uh, yeah, there's, there's no, I would not, not do it any other way. <laughs> Deborah, thank you so much. Tell us where people can find you and learn about your work. Okay. So my website is, uh, debrakilby.com. And I also have a Facebook group, which is Deborah Kilby Healing. Um, and you know often some meditations and things in there but i also have a private closed facebook group as well for journeys to motherhood so uh, if anyone is you know looking for support on their journey to motherhood then i also have a closed facebook group for that you can find that on my deborah kilby healing site all my packages and everything that i've developed along the way with ashling is all on my website okay fantastic Thank you so much, my darling. Thank, thank you. you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you. Bye. It was so lovely to talk yeah. with you. Yeah. Thank you. Bye, everybody. Bye. Okay.